Hello and welcome to Traveling with Luigi. In this episode, my wife and I will visit the Huntsville State Park located in Texas. But how did you get to the park? Well, the park is located north of Houston, about one hour drive from George Bush International Airport. This is just one example of the many beautiful parks we find in Texas. It is part of the Sam Houston National Forest. For a small fee under $10, you can enter the park. The drive to the park introduces you to the majestic trees and natural beauty of the East Texas Piney Woods. This is the map of the park. As you can see, there is a lake called Lake Raven. The small numbers indicate camping sites. For a fee, you can spend the night in a campsite, in a screen shelter, as I'm showing you here, or in a cabin. The cost of a cabin is about $60 per night. This is the Nature Center. It can be your first stop because it's located near the entrance to the park. People here camp, hike, bike, picnic, fish, swim, paddle, geocache, and study nature. You can rent a canoe, explore the many trails, or just relax by the lake. Huntsville was a campground well before it became a park. Permanent flowing fresh water, walnut, hickory, persimmon, waterfowl, fish, shellfish, and plenty of other plants and wildlife drew Native Americans here. For them, Huntsville was a land of plenty. When Europeans first came to this area in the 1500s, this was Bidai territory. The Bidai was a tribe from the Atacapa Indians from Eastern Texans. They were farmers, hunters, and gatherers. This is us arriving at Lake Raven. Beautiful views of the lake, indeed. Spaniards established the first European settlement in this area, 34 miles north of the present-day park in 1774, and many more settlers followed. In the early 1930s, local residents decided they needed a park. They chose this site because the creek would be dammed to make a lake, and construction began in 1937. This is my wife, collecting some samples at the beach of the lake. She loves nature journaling, and we had a great time here. A Civilian Conservation Corps company, or CCC, made up of African-American veterans built the park. The men constructed the dam the group recreation hall, and the boathouse. In November 1940, 12 inches of rain fell in two days, and the dam collapsed. The 2,083 acres park reopened to the public on May 18, 1956, after repairs were completed. Lake Raven is 210 acres in size. Fishing for crappie, perch, catfish, and bass is allowed. As you can see, you may have to compete with alligators that are in their natural habitat in the park. There are 21 miles of trails as indicated by the dashed lines of different colors in this map. Also, playgrounds, a bird blind, and as I mentioned earlier, a nature center. There is a boat ramp, fishing piers, and fish cleaning stations. Swimming in the summer is allowed in the designated areas of course, there are alligators on the lake. As mentioned earlier, there are screen shelters or shelters with amenities for rental and also 160 campsites. This gives you an idea of the campsites located at the east side of the lake. It is so beautiful. Well, friends, that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed this quick review of the Huntsville, Texas State Park. I thank you so much for watching and until the next time. And as usually say, happy travels.